After quite a wait over the winter period, the European Le Mans series is back with a bang. A great crowd here at a sunny Barcelona. Four different qualifying sessions and first of all for 11 cars and a brand new category, the LM GT3. So who would get the headline and the pole position? Well, Johnny Lawson ran it close with his Ferrari from Formula Racing. Hiroshi Hamaguchi had a late spin, but nevertheless second place. But it's Sarah Bovey. The Iron Dames were last in this championship in 2022, where at Portimao, the last race that year, they took pole. Sarah's done exactly the same again to kick off the 2024 season. It's a new car, no longer the Ferrari, but the Porsche is just as quick in the hands of the Belgian. Ten cars in LMP3, and it was Gael Julien who set the early pace within his car, but uh, Julien Omrion on the back of two championships, having won the Ligia European Series and the Michelin Le Mans Cup in the last two years. But Miguel Espirito Santo for Cool Racing, the defending champions in LMP3, took the pole position. Can they convert that into a race victory in tomorrow's four hours of Barcelona? They've started in the right way, and this is what it meant to their team. Then a pause before we unleashed the LMP2s that have been uprated in power for 2024. The Pro-Am combinations first of all, so they must include a bronze driver and the bronze must do the qualifying. John Faub, a terrific effort from him to start on the grid in third position. Team Virage, Tony Wells back in an LMP2 car for the first time in three years. Second fastest, but nobody could stop Giorgio Roda who ended last season with a pole and he started the very next to be at the front of the LMP2 Pro-Ams as well. So a terrific lap by the young Italian driver. Celebrations began straight away at Proton Competition. And then the big show. This is what the main crowd in the grandstand were waiting for. 14 cars from LMP2. So many huge names from other disciplines within motorsport, whether that be the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship or more crucially the FIA Formula 2 Championship as well. Alex Lynn, third fastest. Richard de Geras, we just caught a brief glimpse of there of EDEX Sport second but for United Autosports Ben Hanley perhaps the dark horse amongst their entry in car 22 but the Mancunian needed a few stabs at it then as the track just started to get a little quieter he pounced and will take the pole position for the first race of the year Jim Maguire ecstatic as was Ben <laughs> 